Guys, it's another beautiful day here. I'm over here in Handan right now, and I'm about to take the shuttle bus to Finland campus, and we're gonna shoot another video with my boy Vlad. He's gonna tell us a little bit about the MBBS program. It's gonna be a fun day. Come and check it out. I'm here with my boy Vlad. Yo, he's a third year from Russia, and Vlad actually grew up in Shanghai, and you went to a Singaporean high school. Right? Yeah, I did. Yep. So yeah. when you when you came to Fudan, actually, you were exposed to more international students than you were used to at your at your high school. I would say, but it didn't come as a you know as a new thing. Okay. I was already I, I knew that it would be an international program. Like, do you think that MBBS program, just in general, is pretty friendly or open to foreigners? Yeah. It is. It definitely is. But I think for people that have not been exposed to the Asian international environment, mm -hmm. for them it may be a something to get used to. I think it would take maybe a half a year or so. Okay. But not more. Okay. Um, is there any advice you would give for someone who didn't grow up in like an all Asian environment who is thinking about coming to this program and you know, how their transition could be smoother? I think that knowing Chinese would be a very important factor. Mm -hmm. So, especially at interviews to Fudan, they would, they really get excited when they see on your application that you've taken an HSK test, even if it's like level three mm -hmm. or level four. And they get really excited when they see HSK five. And if they see like HSK um, speech, the advanced, they feel really happy about that too. So they, they see the interest that you show before coming to China. Then it's definitely a plus if you start learning some Chinese before you apply to this program so you can kind of show off during the interview and then it'll just make your transition a whole lot easier if you already have some interest in Chinese culture. Any advice that you would give to somebody who is interested in applying to this program but they don't really know anything about it? Mm -hmm. Because so far, on, if you Google food on MBBS, yeah. nothing really shows up. Yeah. Like there's a couple of posts on like student doctor network, a couple of but forums, they're, but they're, they're not controversial. very- controversial. There's two sides. Mm -hmm. Somebody either really hates it or somebody loves it. Right. It doesn't give you a clear understanding as to what it actually means. Mm -hmm. what, what should I apply? Should I not apply? Mm -hmm. First, I'll tell a story of how Fudan MBBS actually went onto my list of universities. There I am uh, taking a metro. Uh, I come out and there's just a bunch of taxis. Of course, they want to rip you off. So then I see another guy. The taxi driver is actively trying to rip him off too. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey man, you want to like ally here? <laughs> so then we're like, yeah man, let's do it together. So we found a taxi driver who was giving us like a normal price and we're like, let's share it. Mm -hmm. So while we were taking a cab, let me just talk. So I'm like, I'm telling him, so I'm a, I'm a student here. What do you do? He's like, oh, uh, I study at Fudan. I'm like, what do you do? Medicine. Like, wow, I want to apply to medicine. Mm. He's like, well, yeah, there's this MBBS program. I'm second year right now. Oh, that was my first encounter with somebody, a real person from Fudan MBBS. And that made me, when I went home, that made me actually put it on my list because I knew a live person. I knew somebody whom I could talk to even if I would never do that. Mm -hmm. Even if I knew the whole procedure, I could do it myself, no problem. Mm -hmm. But the fact that I knew that I have somebody that I know there. And like, you, you put a face to a name, to a program, exactly. you're like, okay, there's, there's somebody who I know that I've met that yes. goes to this program and he seems like a decent guy, right? Like yeah. he seems like a normal person and maybe I can like talk to him and ask him questions exactly. if I'm interested in this program. Like you said, you put a name to a program, you put a name to a university, mm -hmm makes it much easier you feel comfortable inside that mm -hmm. you feel secure and safe that there I can reach out to somebody so do you think it would be good for prospective students to kind of you know get in contact with somebody that's already in the program either through WeChat Facebook Definitely. just to get some advice on like yeah. the application process mm -hmm. you would want to apply more to university which is open mm -hmm. and where the students are open Right. So I do encourage, I love the idea of like reaching out to students through WeChat, through Instagram, Facebook. So could uh, prospective students, like if they, if they watch this video, could they add you on WeChat, the ones that are like considering to apply to this program, but they don't have enough information? Like yeah. 
Yeah. Well, could they contact you? Of course, yeah. Okay, so we're going to put his WeChat <laughs> in the description below. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, but the, the reason why we wanted to do this video is because, you know, there's not a lot of information anywhere on the internet. This program has a lot to offer, and Shanghai is definitely a very um, cosmopolitan city. I know that's very cliche, but it's a city that is very fast paced and it's growing and developing. And I think there's a lot of opportunities for young people. And um, if you ever want to just uh, come here and, you know, check out the school, check out the campus, you know, there's always people like us that are open and willing to kind of show people around yeah. and to, you know, give them more information about studying medicine in Shanghai. So for people that want to come to China, you have to get WeChat. WeChat Definitely. is a must. Yes. WeChat yes. will dictate how your life goes <laughs> in China. You literally do, literally do everything on WeChat from uh, paying for food, paying for taxis, yeah. uh, dorm fees, dorm fees yeah. um, any type of group social activity, you join a WeChat group. So it pretty much handles all of your social life. So. For those people that really want to come to China, I suggest that you get a WeChat, set it up before you arrive. So then you know kind of how it works and how, you know, uh, you know, social interactions work in China. So what would you say some of the benefits are for studying in studying medicine in China? Because yeah. I think that's a question that a lot of people are, are going to ask you, you know, yeah. like, why would you come to China to study medicine at an all English program? Why don't you just study it back in the States or back from your own country? So what do you think are some of like the, the advantages of being in Shanghai? Shanghai is a fast growing city. So if you just want to be in a place that develops not by days, but just by seconds, <laughs> you can be here. Shanghai is your city of choice. New York doesn't grow as fast as, it, as Shanghai does now. Mm. Paris, Milan, none of the um, huge uh, cities, they don't do that. So if you want to see Shanghai, if you want to see what development, what economy looks like, come here. But also from a professional point of view, if you're not sure where you want to live, where you want to work, China is the place for you to just go through these six years making your mind up. Mm -hmm. If you're just not sure, mm -hmm. if you'd rather give yourself time while studying, mm -hmm to give yourself time to realize what is my goal, where do I want to live, mm -hmm. you may end up just staying in China mm -hmm. because you see that the environment here will fit you, your needs, you have it all here, you may decide to stay here. Mm -hmm. But you may also decide to take an exam and go somewhere else. Right. It gives you that chance. It's like a, a middle point and like a transistor to wherever you may want to go. Okay. It's just like the center because it's right in the middle. It's Zhongguo. Mm -hmm. It's in the middle. Yeah, so it's kind of like a like a door to other options yeah. if you decide not to pursue medicine anymore. Because there are some people that come here fresh out of high school. Yeah, they might not be so set on what they want to do in the future. Yeah. So I think you know, for those kind of people, uh, what what kind of advice would you give them or? For those who don't want like to be a doctor at the end, right? Or just uh, you know, when you're talking about keeping your options open. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what do you what do you, do you have any advice on that? They could go into research, especially if they get a lot of research opportunities here mm -hmm. during their six years. Mm -hmm. They can continue on with research. Okay. Cool. There's also opportunities to get an MBA afterwards. Right. So that gives you a chance to do hospital administration. You can actually you can just go into business afterwards. You okay. can go into like I don't know pharmaceutical companies. Knowing like seeing as how you already have an MBBS degree, it's kind of like a medical degree that you can use anywhere mm -hmm. to show that you have first base doctor's education. Mm -hmm. And ju just to be clear, the MBBS degree it stands for Bachelor of Medicine, <laughs> Bachelor of Surgery, yeah. right? And uh, this degree is recognized and accredited in the US, in the UK, Australia, yeah. yes. pretty much worldwide. Yes. Okay, so with this degree, you could go on and you know take the USMLE, take yeah. the PLAB in the UK, and it just kind of opens, opens the doors to a lot of different options, even if you don't decide to pursue uh, practicing 
medicine. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Great. So, um, is there any uh, advice you would give to just uh, incoming freshmen who are maybe confused, who uh, haven't made up their mind yet whether or not to go to another school or come here? If you decide to come to China, it should definitely definitely be Fudan. Yeah, and you should get WeChat. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like Fudan, like just for you know the its name, like it's a big name school. I know yeah. that in China, but I think that there's many other schools that also have the MBBS program yeah. in China, mm-hmm. but none of them are uh, recognized or as renowned as Fudan University. Yeah. So that that's also why I chose this program. Because, you know, when you tell Chinese people like, "Oh, I go to Fudan," they're like, "Oh, wow, that's a, that's like an Ivy League, <laughs> right?" Yeah. So that kind of gives it some some sense of legitimacy. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, it's definitely a, a top notch school. And um, even though like our program uh, hasn't existed for that long, yeah. it's it's still growing, and there's more people. Uh, coming to this program every single year, the numbers are growing, mm-hmm. and it's just it's it's developing. Like China, um, it's just consistently improving, and um, you know some sometimes the infrastructure might not be as good. But we'll we'll, we'll, we'll save that for for another video. Talk, we'll, yeah. we'll save that for a different talk. But yeah. yeah. Um, anything else you want to say? Any closing words? Just like I mentioned, get WeChat. Get WeChat. Yeah. All right. Get WeChat. WeChat. Add us on WeChat. Our WeChats are in the description below. If you have any questions about medicine, MBBS program, life in Shanghai, feel free to ask us. Check out the channel for more videos. Uh, We got a lot of good content coming out, especially related to medicine, lifestyle in Shanghai. Um, It's been a pleasure to have you here. Be on the lookout. And remember, remember, posture posture is everything. everything. Peace. Posture, (laughs) Posture, man.